Hi everyone. It's been a long time since I've uh, done a video. Um, I have been in the middle of a um, house move and um, I can tell you I literally have kind of one foot in and one foot out. It has been a really, really difficult um, five or six week transition to this move. Um, my uh, moving company came to uh, load us and get us moved and we basically had to go into a temporary storage because house closings, as um, they often do, get postponed and then postponed and then postponed. And so we're on the fourth closing postponement. I'm thankful that uh, my son and daughter-in-law have been very gracious to um, have us stay with them during this time. It's difficult. Um, it's hard on everybody, but we're all trying to survive. And um, mostly because um, there's not a whole lot you can do when um, closing companies just can't give you a whole lot of information because so much has changed recently with um, house sales and um, privacy and so you're scheduled basically for a closing and at the last minute you're told uh, yeah it's not going to close. So um, hopefully fingers crossed and uh, I have faith that um, we're going to have a great resolution to this. It will be soon, and um, I'm hoping that this week um, it will um, bring us our closing. It has nonetheless been very stressful, and at this point, um, I just, I'm here, but I just don't feel like I'm here, because <laughs> I'm sort of still living out of my suitcases, but anyways, that's where I'm at. And like I said, I'm very hopeful that hopefully this week we will have a resolution and we'll be closing and moving within the next week. Um, if we don't, I'm probably just going to come on and go, ah! or worse, I'm not sure. But anyways, on a lighter note, and because doing videos really relaxes me, um, um, I like it. It's fun. It's kind of like just a hobby. And um, so I thought I would share with you today a few things that I purchased um, or that I was given as gifts for Christmas and a few things that I purchased and a couple of things that I just repeatedly use and love. And so I'm going to start off with um, what's on my lips. And what's on my lips is um, Tom Ford. And it is um, 04 Indian Rose. Now, I think I've talked about this when I first bought it. And it really is a very, very pretty color. I love it. I think it's great for spring. It's great for fall. It's great in the winter. Um, but it's just a really, really pretty color. Sorry, the lighting isn't so great in here. But I'm up in the playroom. Granddaughter's taking a nap. And... Um, so this is where I can shoot the little video. But anyways, this lipstick, as I said, I, I believe I mentioned it in a video before. It is pricey, but the moisturization that you get on your lips from this lipstick literally lasts. I'm not going to say all day because it doesn't, but it lasts four hours. Even drinking, even eating, you still feel the moisture. And at the end of the day, if you don't reapply, even after three or four hours and maybe having some coffee or having lunch or something, it, it just leaves a really pretty natural, um, I don't want to say stain, but a natural color to your lips that doesn't look like it fades unevenly. So I really love this lipstick. I have consistently been wearing this lipstick and this color pretty much all month long and I love it. I really love it. Now today I did not line my lips. I just applied the color and the lipstick and um, just love it. It's just 
oh, and it feels so good at this time of year when your lips get so dry and just feel so chapped. It really is nice. Also, um, I use um, Rouge Coco from uh, Chanel. It's just a clear uh, moisturizing, no color to it. It just moisturizes your lips. I put it on before I apply lipstick, but honestly, with this Tom Ford lipstick, I don't even feel like I need to do this. Um, I'm really, really big on moisturizing my lips, especially at night. I use lip scrub, and um, hopefully, once I get settled, I can do a video on the types of scrubs I use at night and what I use as a lip balm at night. There's a couple of different ones that I've tried from Dior, um, also from, um, ooh, slips my mind now, Fresh and um, Chanel. And so I'll do a video on those and which ones I like and why I like them. But like I said, I always try to keep my lips very moisturized and um, during the day, even when I'm not wearing lipstick, then I'll pull this out and go for that. And on the lines of lipstick, uh, one of the um, Christmas gifts I got was a Buxom from a little um, gift set that, that um, Sephora had. And this one is in the Blushing Margarita color. I'm just going to go ahead and put some over it so you can just kind of see the shine. Um, I'll swatch it here. You can see that. It's really pretty. Again, a very natural color on your lips. I don't need it with um, the Tom Ford, but a lot of times in matte lipsticks, um, I like to apply a gloss over it and this color margarita um, I would definitely purchase in a large size because it's really, really nice. So that's it for lips. And then I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, during the Sephora VIB sale when they had it, one of the items that was on my list was the NARS Laguna bronzer. And um, I was going to pick it up for the sale, but I didn't. So I went ahead and just got it. This is a favorite bronzer. I love it. I've gone through three of them. Um, I use other bronzers, but I do really favor this because it's really light um, and it's a buildable color, but it's very natural. It just puts that little bit of color, as you can see, it's right here to your skin so that you don't have that winter washout look. So I really like that. And like I said, I had it on my list during the VIB, but something else popped up that I I was going around the rim in my um, last compact. And I thought, well, I'm sure I have enough to use between this and other bronzers that I have. But um, really, really love this. And shockingly, where I live or I'm in the process of moving to, um, the Ulta is now carrying the NARS line. And so that was super exciting. Listen, just because I have an Ulta near me that's not 50 miles away um, or it doesn't take me an hour and 15 minutes to go the other way is exciting. It's exciting. It's exciting that... I'm close to a Target. It's exciting that I just don't have Walmart and Dollar Store. I love Dollar General, but I need some more stores. I want some more stores. And I'm not really in a place in my mind where I feel like I'm home yet. I know as soon as we close, I'll feel like I'm home. It's just been so hard on us, like I said, and especially hard on my husband because he's he just wants us to get settled and then he'll feel um, like everything's going to be okay. It's just hard for him to be thinking that, you know, we're still in temporary storage and it's a worry. But anyways, I keep babbling back. I can't help it. I'm sorry. It's just like every day. It's like, is today the day? Are we going to close? Is there any new news? So you know what they say, no news is good news. So 
that's what I'm going by. So I did just repurchase that and I do have it on um, today because like I'm just wearing, um, let me just adjust this, this cute little t-shirt that I got from Target that says I love snow days and um, so sorry about that move but um, just excited to have the Target so I had to do a little retail therapy when I first got here because um, oh things were so stressful I was like oh, just let me go to Target and let me look and let me just inhale Target because I love Target and I have to stay away from Target because I'm budget-minded and I always say that and uh, I need to just be careful from Target. So also yesterday at Ulta, I saw, um, this is from Real Techniques and these are their designed brushes and I do have a couple of the Artiste brushes. This is huge, this is like a really big one. Um, it's very soft, very dense. Have I used it yet? No, because I just got it. Um, my other Artiste brush is uh, smaller, and I like it, um, but there's something about the design of those brushes that on the handle, it just seems like it's not as sturdy. And when you're using this, you tend to want to put pressure, but you don't need to. But I saw this size. Um, I saw a couple, I read a couple reviews on it, got really good reviews. I love Real Techniques, um, some of their sponges, and um, so I thought I'd give it a try. Not anywhere near the cost of the Artiste brushes, not anywhere near. I think this was $19.99, but for a brush, I thought that was pretty good. So it's called a foundation blurring brush, so um, I'm kind of anxious to try it, but just haven't tried it as of yet because I am a beauty blender oh sorry it's dirty because I used it today um, love my beauty blender sponge I uh, love love these beauty blender sponges now let me just say have I been a sucker for the little tiny beauty blender sponges yes have I tried other sponges uh, yes um, do I like the Real Technique sponge? Yep, I like it, and I use it, and I especially like it for under the eye area because it has a flat surface at the top, and you can really lay that beauty blender in there, and I like it. Some people like their fingers, some do brushes, but I'm a beauty blender person. Now, I've bought um, some of these sponges that are the tiny ones, and they're specifically designed for under eye area, and I probably got sucked into buying it because it was just um, cute, and I'm a sucker for cute. Um, I used them, and they worked okay, but I felt like it was awkward. I just felt like it was hard to hold, and I would rather just use a regular size beauty blender or my Real Technique sponge and get in under there. But I use my Beauty, beauty Blender for um, my foundation, um, even for powder, if I'm putting powder on. I like to put powder under my eyes. I don't really do a full bake because I'm older and I just can't have the powder settling in my eyes, but um, or in my eye areas under my skin. But I do use the Beauty Blender just for any fallout then it's just really easy to wipe it away so I'm a big fan of the beauty blender and also along the line of that beauty blender um, I like uh, to use um, the beauty blender as a new tip um, and I tried it um, yes I saw it on YouTube so I'm going to share it with you but I am totally, totally in love with Hourglass Primer. Now, this is the Veil, Primer Veil, and I've talked about this many, many times. Um, my tube is kind of dirty, um, just from wear and tear and getting thrown around in the makeup drawer, but this one is almost empty. I have a spare reserve. Um, I also made the purchase during the VIB sale because I don't want to be without this. I can't tell you how great your skin feels using this as a primer and how beautiful your either powder or liquid foundation goes on. It just, oh, it's awesome. It's the best I've ever used. And yes, I've used a ton. But I just saw a tip 
to really get that smooth finish to your skin, satin finish, um, flawless look, to use your primers with a damp beauty blender sponge. So I did it, loved it. Did it make a difference in the way my skin tone looked more even? I believe so. So these two, I'm sold on. And you know, I'll put the link below for this because this is a great, great product. And again, it's by Hourglass. So I'm just about out of it. And what I like to do, here's another tip that I've um, also shared before, is I like to cut the tube about halfway because it's down to the bottom. Hard to squeeze any more out. And then with a uh, plastic spade, I just pull all the product all the way down. And then I take the top portion off. Um, you know, get all the product out, put it in the bottom, rinse out the top, dry it really well, and then I just cap it over. And then it gets to be about that short, but then I can use everything that's on the inside. Um, I just pop it off and use um, an applicator to pick up what I want, and uh, I get every bit of product out. So that is also a great tip. Um, I also picked up for myself um, a new Brow Wiz, and um, because... And, um, and, um, I've been doing that with my little granddaughter because she's like, um, um, <laughs> and so I'm like, and, um, um, there I go again. I have been using Anastasia Brow Wiz for a long, 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 long time, and I've basically tried several of their, uh, eyebrow products, the powder, the pomade, the paste. Um, I really love the eyebrow pencil. This one happens to be in granite. My hair is pretty much at its own, it is all natural color um, as I have been growing out my grays. The granite seems to be a little more complementary with the salt and pepper hair. Not too dark, not stark, but really blends out um, nicely. So I picked up um, a new pencil in the granite color or a Christmas present this year, and I'm so glad I got it. I like the coziness and warmth of a nice bulky sweater, but I like my sweatshirts to be light. Um, I like sweaters that have that cashmere um, blend because they're breathable and you don't feel overheated or you know, excessively hot. But for some year, for some reason this year, I needed and wanted a new robe. My last robe was about, um, <laughs> I don't even want to say, it was probably like 25 years old. It was sh all chenille. I just couldn't get rid of it. It was so well worn, broken in, but geez, when you held it up to the light, you could see like right through it. it and yeah, it went bye-bye. So I did get a new robe and because I have the circle sweater from Barefoot Dreams purchased at Nordstrom, they still have them online. I've had mine for a couple years. It is so warm, so cozy, so comfortable. I went ahead and um, purchased the Barefoot Dreams rope. And this is in, I think it's called maybe the oatmeal color. It's... Um, considered size one. I'm only five foot three, so it's a little bit long, comes like below the knee. Could be a little bit shorter, but because I'm short, I'm just kind of used to that. But I want to tell you, I am so happy I bought this robe. It's so comfortable. It's so cozy, but I don't feel like I overheat in it. It's just the softest material. It's so breathable. It, it's awesome. If you have never tried Barefoot Dreams, I, I would highly recommend and encourage it. And it's just a really pretty long um, robe. And it, it's supposed to come just a little bit below your knee. So for me, it's a couple inches, but it's just awesome. And I'm so pin, uh, finicky and picky about robes because... Sometimes I just feel like the sleeves are always so long, the material so heavy and weighty that after I, it's on for five minutes, I just feel like, oh, I can't stand it. I'm too hot. But not this. This is just the coziest, warmest, 
um, comforting feeling that you can get. And oh, I'm so glad I have it for this year. So I have that. And I think that's it for this little video. So I just kind of wanted to come on and just share with you where I'm at. Um, I'm definitely feeling the effects of the stress with the bags under the eyes and just it's just been difficult but we're gonna we're gonna get through it I'm determined and so I hope to get into our new home quickly and soon and uh, that I can share some more with you because I have um, a few more things that I'd like to share with you and I'll be doing some other future videos hopefully in our new home really soon so until next next time be kind be humble and age gracefully bye